Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio workshop, and I am joined back again by Zuri. Greetings. So, uh, you're feeling a lot better now, which is great. And, uh... Yep. Yeah, so today we're going over a solar layout by Zark Lord. And uh, this, is, this is all one blueprint. The blueprint is quite huge, um, but it is pretty much the perfect ratio, 0.84, uh, which is the perfect ratio for accumulators to solar panels. And it's pretty much symmetrical. Uh, you were noticing, Zuri, this part in the middle isn't actually symmetrical. It's a it's a little off. The the center square mm -hmm. is uh, it, it's the only thing wrong with it. But you got to have something like that if you want exactly perfect ratio, like you did. Yeah, exactly. So you know, not not too bad. I mean, it looks uh, pretty interesting on the map. I'd say. Um, and this guy generates, we were doing some calculations, uh, he generates 98 megawatts max, uh, so at, at the height of the day, essentially when solar panels are max, and then uh, the average, uh, Zuri, what was it? 68.6. .6. Right. So a 68.6 .6 average, because uh, you need to take into account the full cycle of the day when the solar panels you know, aren't at 100% efficiency and stuff. Uh, so a, a quick note with that is uh, with this layout or any layout when you go to do solar is you want to base it off of the average not the max because if you you know whatever say you want 100 megawatts and you lay 100 megawatts of solar and calculate it based on their max output of a, like it being 100 megawatts you're actually going to be below the power you need for quite a bit of the day yeah some useful numbers to keep in mind is you get about 0.7 utility off of a solar panel. So it says 60 kilowatts each, but that's effectively 42 kilowatts. Yeah. And you want about 0.84 uh, accumulators per solar panel. Yeah, exactly. So that's where that 0.84 comes from. And uh, overall, it's a, it's a good design. I mean, it's like, like we said, it's quite large, you know, 1.6 thousand... Um, uh, I can't think, uh, solar panels, and then uh, 1.3 thousand accumulators in this, and it does have uh, eight roboports on a radar. I feel like you could maybe get away with less radars if they were rearranged differently, but of course I would require like rebuilding the whole thing to keep the ratio, so not that big of a deal. Uh, you mean roboports, right? Rado roboports, yes. I, I cannot talk today. Roboports. Um, and the radar uh, is quite nicer. You were noticing that you can actually, the, the radar does cover the entire blueprint, um, but then even if you don't want to use the map view with that, uh, you notice Zuri, that you could actually just place it just straight up by like standing next to it. Yeah, it's barely, I'm going to say small enough, that if you zoom out all the way without using commands, you can place it and watch the overlap eight panels, which is what I'm sure this is for. Yeah, so these ones on the side, uh, a quick glance, it may think it's a mistake, but it's not, so you can overlap um, overlap them like that. And it's on all sides as well, so this is symmetric, I mean, this is placeable on all sides equally, which is quite nice. And uh, I believe that pretty much does it. Overall, I'd say really good design, you know, the, the good ratio is important, the fact that it is stampable and tileable is obviously extremely important. Uh, and really just a large design, I mean, on a on a medium-sized base, you'd probably only need a couple of these, several of these, to uh, power your entire base, so. And very large bases, you can just keep stepping these from the map and let your bots take care of everything. Yeah, which is really nice. Uh, since the radar does cover the entire layout, you can't, you could just stamp, like, all four sides and then just do other stuff while your bots take care of it and then do it again, and uh, you'd be good. So, I believe that does it. Do you have anything else to add for this one, Zuri? No, other than it's 100% space efficient, which is good job. Yeah, that's a really good point. Uh, a lot of these designs uh, are not 100% space efficient. But, uh, but yeah, that'll do it, guys. As always, leave your thoughts down below if you have any. Uh, blueprint for this will be in the description. And until next time, we will catch you later. Later.